as always, the early monkey hopefully gets the car. Uh, today I was uh, doing my normal searches this morning on uh, some of the interwebs finest sites and um, I found a 1977 K5 Blazer. Uh, original owner, sold new here in Dallas and uh, it looks as though it hasn't been too modified. You know, a lot of those blazers got jacked up and super swampers and all kinds of, you know, doodads stuck on them. And this one just looks like to be all original. Uh, from the pictures, I think it has a little beginnings of rust in the rockers, but being a Dallas car its whole life, it's not going to be rusty. Uh, it's power steering, power brakes, AC. Um, and uh, it should be a good buy if I could get it realistically uh, under five grand. Uh, he's asking seven. Uh, we're going to take a look at it. These K5 Blazers are doing pretty good right now. Uh, they're pretty popular. People are restoring them. Uh, restored, I've seen these things go for a hundred grand. So uh, we're not going to do that. We're going to try to buy it and flip it. Um, so I grabbed Chase. He's sitting in the back because the, the millennial holding the camera here is sitting in the front. And uh, then we've got a couple other people that are going to help us because I think we're going to do like a Facebook Live on it. And then we're going to make it a video. And such is my life. It's been uh, sitting here in this parking lot next to a uh, child care facility because uh, they own the child care facility. And he hasn't driven it in a couple of years, so dead battery, bad gas, who knows. But he swears it will run and drive if you uh, fix those things. So we're buying an in-op today. That means inoperable. Look, there it is. Cool. So check it out. Early monkey gets the car, hopefully. Today I'm sneaking up on a 77 K5 Blazer uh, that is uh, single owned, uh, so one owner, sold new here in Dallas. So it shouldn't be too rusty and it hasn't been really uh, messed with. So we're gonna go uh, check it out right now. Obviously I didn't want you to ride with me, so now you're gonna walk with me. Dun, 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 dun. How fast should I go to make the millennial run? <laughs> so here we go. This looks pretty solid. We're gonna have to find out though. You must be Dustin. How you doing? I'm good, sir. What's up? How you doing? Richard Rawlings. This is Chase. Chase, Chase Dustin Smalls Reed. Nice Act like the cameras aren't here because people think this shit happens automatically. <laughs> so uh, tell me the story. What's the deal with this truck? Well, uh, it was my dad's. He bought it uh, brand side. new, 1977. And uh, this was his first vehicle that he bought brand new no kidding yes yeah, so it was fact, sold uh brand new here in dallas no he bought it in abilene oh okay yeah and um when i turned 16 this was my first vehicle this would be a hell of a cool car for a 16 year old yeah now it was white and yellow and you know we've named it old yeller but uh my younger brother was taking an auto mechanic shop in high school. Yeah. And this was the project. That's why they painted it white. Like I've seen that happen. Yellow and white. I have seen that happen. But uh, what's the story on when was the last time you ran and drove it? 2018, I was out here doing donuts out here. And, no kidding. Uh, got it fixed up. One wheel donuts or no, this thing got a positive track in it? No, I was, I was <laughs> burning rubber out there <laughs> but, uh, no I was gonna take it out to the deer lease but my son and I got four wheelers and we, it's just been sitting here I get it how'd it look underneath Chase it's pretty clean underneath. is there any rust because we got some rockers here and I noticed yeah, a little bit on the other the side the fender and the rocker but the floor panes look clean this is what I like to see when I'm looking at, at an old car it's basically un. <sighs> I guess I can say unfucked with now that it's my own show and I'm not on the, the cable. But uh, it's, it's sanitary, it's original, this is cool. This is what caught my eye when I was looking at it, Dustin, is uh, it hasn't been all torn apart and jacked up and super swampers and this and you know all that kind of stuff. So uh, it's pretty cool and they stay you know pretty much original. Well, this is all there and sanitary. I'm gonna need a battery and gas and all that kind of stuff. What about the rear floorboards, Chase? Underneath the, uh, up above the refer differential there. They're all pretty sanitary too. Okay. Fiberglass not too dry. Now this, this hood does come off. In high school, 
I wanted to take it off because all my buddies yeah. had theirs taken off, but my dad wouldn't let me. So the seal's never been broke. So the top's never been off of it. Uh -uh. That's pretty cool. That's real cool. Ooh, look at all this stickiness. <sighs> that I don't know. It's what so, no, it's, it's a deterioration from these things in the 70s. Whatever they used, if it sits, you know, in the sun and stuff, especially here in Texas, and it gets worse as you go out west, it gets all sticky. And I mean, it's like sometimes literally impossible to even get off your hands. It's yeah. a freaking mess. But uh, it's all there. All right, so. Uh, we're not going to be able to test drive or any of that kind of stuff. I'm basically buying an in-op. Um, you had it listed at seven. What's like the deal of the day? Well, I mean, seven, I think is pretty fair, but uh, you tell me. I want to say 3,500 because it's just, I don't know if the motor's good or the rear end and we know we're going to be brakes and and uh, you know oil changes and then uh, the fuel system is going to have to be gone through. Uh, especially I noticed that the uh, gas tank has been missing or the gas tank uh, cap is missing. So who knows what's gotten down in there over the years. Right. Um, but I don't think 35 is uh, fair. Um, how about four grand? That's cash. Uh. They're going for a lot more than that, but but not in this condition, you know. Not 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 if it was running, driving, and had good wheels and you know good tires and brakes and what have you, you know, yeah, you'd probably get closer to your seven number, but you're going to spend two or three grand to get there. Right. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll 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 do four if you take it off the lot today. That's a deal. Right. Good deal. Let me get you some cash, my man. All right. Sounds good. So there you go, Facebook livers and other camera peeps. Early bird did get the blazer or early monkey getting blazed. I don't even know anymore. It's too early. Yep. There you go. Four grand cash. We'll get Chase to load this thing up. I'll let you guys and gals go, but uh, once we get it up and running, you'll be able to see what we're doing with it. We may do something with it. We may just get it running and driving and try to make a dollar or two, but uh, as of now, we got a 77 k 51 owner. Boom. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. Right on. And thank you. Well, thank you. What's happening? Yeah. Is it off? Yeah. Help me, millennials. Yeah. Save me. <laughs>
Tony, I had a K5 Blazer on the trailer. Where is it? It's gone. Sold it. Uh, How much money did we make first? Day, before I get upset. We made 1500 bucks. On 4000 That's 30%. Okay, that part's good. But we're not on TV cable anymore. We got to do this for ourselves. That's why I got all these millennials and cameras. And now I can't tell the Instawebers what happened. Or show them. They want to see us buy a car, fix a car, build a car, sell a car. Now all we got is buy a car. We bought a car. We sold the car. Yeah, never hit We the got ground. sold. It was quick. So. Well, that's good and bad. But from now on, ask me before you sell anything. Can I sell the Blazer? It's sold.